Hi, my gorgeous friend. I normally wouldn't like start the video this early on in the process, but I know that you're really curious about tarot. So um, I figured I'd let you check it out from the beginning. I want you to know how much I miss you and I adore you and um, we should really make it a priority to get together, even if it means meeting in Atlanta so that we can like kill a bunch of birds with a bunch of stones. Um, so maybe you could even see Patrick and Berinda. I know he's in Chicago. I'm gonna see him in February. February, yes. Sorry, my hands are so little and tarot cards and me and always fun. So basically, um, what I didn't show you so far was um, me just lighting sage around the house and like setting up my space, me meditating, uh, I, you know, just kind of centering myself. I do a lot of oils. I put them, because scents for me is like so, um, I have such like a keen, so what I'm, a uh, sense of smell, what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of, see how summer in, summer out? And I only have half the deck, and that's also because my hands are so little. Most people can do this normally. Um, it wouldn't take this long. I do that so that I can sort of um, get an idea of your energy. What's to come? Get a feel for the read, call in the types of spirit guides in my mind. Um, while and then we'll go ahead and do this so it's like really it's like for me i'm getting this story especially because we're doing one of what do i need to release and what do i need to take in more of Your biggest message so far is gonna be patience. But you're pretty patient, I feel like. Or maybe the Sagittarius, the Temperance card is the one that it ended on, on that side. There's a weird like um, lighting thing up there. I guess it's from my window, or is it? Um, I also want to show you, since you're into stones, what I pulled for you for today's reading. This is my little altar here for the readings. Um, these I found these gorgeous um, red amethyst raw stones. And I don't know if you knew this. But you see all those lines in that? Um, that's supposed to have like the ancient knowledge in it. Stones that have that kind of like t -t 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 in it naturally. Like if you hold it, they are supposed to, um, oop, oopsies. I hope that's still working. Okay, I don't know what happened. Hashtag spirit. So these are the red, the red amethysts. So I'm not wearing a brassiere. I probably should have done that. Um, but look at that. Isn't she beautiful? And they were really, really, really inexpensive and they're big. And they make me feel lovely. And that's how you make me feel, friend. You are lovely. So I pulled those out to ground um, the reading today. I also um, pulled for you uh, a, a piece of copper and a piece of petrified wood. Oh, so much. And I know exactly where that was gonna hit me, but when you hold them together, it helps your body naturally um, uh, release any of the blockages that you have naturally. Um, you can kind of like use it as a wand to do crystal healing on yourself, releasing any areas that really could use. So I always go all the way straight down and then I'll go like, whoop, because these are little guys and there's two. I'll go down the other side because you gotta do like three. And then I'll go down an arm. I got my hat on though. Um, keeping that crown chakra covered like a good Jewish girl would. No, really, it's just that my hair looks fucking crazy because I came back from hot yoga, but you can pretend, right? So petrified wood and copper for you. You might want to look into that at a crystal store. I also felt really compelled to grab you an aura quartz, which is beautiful because I know that you're into um, the spiritual side of things. So this helps me um, really...
like spirit. It's just, this particular stone in particular for me has always been like a very like, all right, spirit, what do you have to tell me now? What's the message? How, how did I fuck this up this time? Which is generally what they used to say to me. I'm, get, I'm getting better. I'm better. Raw citrine. And citrine in general is just like one of the most cleansing stones, purification stone. But in the raw, it helps you with um, intelligence, um, inner truth, confidence, and... Um, I hurt my back, I think, at yoga. And now everything's tight. Um... And something else, I forget. Yours is going to be a lot longer because I love you than anybody else's. I don't really do all the stone work for the 11-11 or the 22 22s. Like on the $100 readings, I do all this stuff for people. Um, amber, which is the light. I really, really, really can't wait for you to find your voice in this whole thing because I know that you are a light worker and an indigo. And Google both of those things if you've not done that. Um, this is obsidian. Is this black obsidian or is it jet? I think this is jet. Jet or black obsidian, either would be great for you to have in conjunction with the other ones that I'm mentioning. Protective, grounding, um keeping you like in healthy in the 3d so that you can do 5d shit smoky quartz same thing but i love my smoky quartz last but certainly not least for you my beautiful girl and then we'll get into the cards aquamarine to help you speak your truth all right gorgeous let's shuffle some old cards and then put them together what we're going to do is we're going to ask the tarot cards Using the Rider weight, that's the traditional deck first. And we're gonna pull three cards for what you need to release, what you need to um, and what you need to three for what you need to release and three for what you need to bring in more of this year and you can use the eclipse to do this why can we use the eclipse because it's when the moon and the earth and the sun are in alignment so we have the ability to basically faster than at any other moment in time communicate to the universe exactly what they can take with them as soon as that shadow goes away and what they can bring in as soon as that light comes the next day. So um, if you don't ask, then you can't receive, you know? I like that. Sometimes I even impress myself. It's rare, but sometimes. Okay, okay, okay. Three, three, three. For what my girl can get rid of, because if it's, whoa. I'm going with the one that's in my hand. And that one. I'm gonna put these together because it's the same message and um, grab another, another one. So I don't know if you saw everything that I was doing because I know you wanna learn about tarot too. I mean, we can schedule like one-on-one, -on -one, um, like practice with the deck readings and intuition. It's how I started. Um, but eventually my aunt said to me, honestly, Jordana, start with a fake it till you make it mentality because you are who you are and you're getting the messages. And so even when like, you're pretending, cause I didn't believe in myself, right? I was like, I, that's not fucking that's not a that's not a message from a spirit. That's just me like, I don't know, really getting people because I'm an actress is always what I used to say. I think it's because I'm an actress and I just had to study human behavior so much to emulate it. And then when like mad people in the family turn around and like, no, 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 we talk to dead people too. And oh yeah, yeah, no. And my grandma was like, 
I still carry around my pendulum. My grandma's 86 years old and she like literally goes into her walker and pulls out her pendulum. She's had my birth chart. Apparently she's been watching me go down this path of no resistance for a while, knowing exactly what was gonna happen next. I'm a big giant experiment in my family. All right, anywho, actually in general, I keep waiting for um, Ashton Kutcher to pop up. Okay, I've got a message for you on what we can release during this blood moon. So you've been very quickly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, the eight of rods is like my fast, you're moving too fast. Slow down, slow down. I don't know what that's in a relationship. Are you dating someone? You were dating someone the last time we spoke. Don't carry all the weight by yourself. You're not taking on the entire burden anymore for people. That's not healthy anyways. Or that could also be a message to you to stop carrying the burden alone and reach out to people for assistance if you're going through it. I don't think you're going through it because swords is my mental like and mean card. Rods is my career and like work and like day in and day out. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Uh, I have a low battery. Hopefully that won't be a problem. If it is, I'll plug it her in and then we'll keep rocking, keep rolling. Um, hopefully that resonates for you. It could either be in a relationship or at work or within a group of friends. Don't move too fast and don't do all the work without any reciprocity. That should be a given for you in 2019. It's not a tit for tat. It's not a I did, so you have to. It's like a we do what feels authentically organic to us when we want to take care of people. But when it's our turn to need a hand and you look around and no one's there or that person that you had invested and had really gone, over, go, gone overboard with to be there for wasn't there, back the F up. You don't, that's not, that's not, that's not how it's supposed to be. It is supposed to be a mutual giving and taking of energies of joy and positivity, making each other better and growing. That's it. Like it's not hard. Um, I had to slice frenemies at the neck this year. Like, oh, you, okay, bye. You, okay, bye. You, okay, bye. And it was only because I was ascending to a higher vibration. They didn't know who the fuck I was anymore. Because I didn't want to go out drinking because I wanted to wake up and go to a yoga class. And I know you love that. I know that you hearing that about me makes you so happy because that was your life last year, you know? And um, it's a great place to be in where it's like, no, I could care less about being out and about so that I have something cool to put on my Instagram story. What I'd rather put on my Instagram story is a message of love and positivity, bright eyed and bushy tailed, even though I still look like crap right now. Um, okay. You also need to let go, and I'm going to get clarification. I think you need to let go of the idea of a new beginning with somebody. Or you need to, the next two cards are pentacle cards. Ace of pentacles four of pentacles but they're both in reverse to me not to you right because they're down like this so they're in reverse and i mean you could kind of turn these up a little bit only because two were two were upright two were in reverse but to me maybe not the ace of pentacles because that's the ace of pentacles it's major arcana later major arcana um but with the four of pentacles, I, I think I want to leave that reverse. I'm feeling compelled to leave that one reverse for you. And the reason that that one is, is because you need to be more cautious with your money. So 
So I think this Ace of Pentacles is you need to let go of the idea of a get rich quick scheme. Does that make sense to you? That you're going to win the lottery? Have you been gambling because you haven't been drinking? I don't know. Uh, we as addicts, we do that. No offense. Um, I don't know, girl. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting around that is uh, you need to be really more balanced with how your money goes from your head to your toes. That should be your mantra. You know, um, say it in the morning in the mirror when you're getting ready so that throughout the day you make smart spending purchases. What did I say? Um, from your head, I make smart money choices from my head to my toes. I'll take care of my money from my head to my toes and everybody knows. That'll be your mantra, girl. Just so that you remember your, you know, like, do I really need that Starbucks coffee? Or can I wait till I get home and grab that kind of stale coffee, throw it in my coffee pot, and be fine? Because not for nothing, the way Mother Gaia, the universe, the grounds are feeling, the negativity that I'm seeing around me, Just remember, I, I'm intuitive. So I know too much about what people feel. And it's like, eh. I'll see, like, this is so crazy. Like, I'll see, like, some super, what I would consider, no offense, like, to you guys. Like, you're in the South. But, like, rednecky guy. I know you're from Chicago, though. Like, Ohio area. But, um, ooh, maybe we can all meet in Chicago next month. Anyways, um, like I'll walk down this, like I'll walk into a 7-Eleven and there'll be a guy there watching, looking at me. And I just get this feeling of like, he's angry that I'm a woman and I defaced my body with tattoos and how dare I have so much control over my own body like it's weird it's weird it's weird it's weird it's weird um so I just try to like put myself into a big giant glass and that's an Alex my, my girl home my home girl Alex taught me about the glass and the glass is when you're like super duper like sketched especially because your energy is a lot like mine so you put yourself in a glass um container and protected and purified by God totally like holy white light nothing can get through it but if you're you know walking around the day and you're interested in you know allowing some joy and some love into your life too i do a big this is my auntie boo a big glass i'm not sorry not glass no glass a big pyramid a beautiful golden um god light i'm like in a disco over here you know what i'm saying like yes i'm fucking divine bitches so i don't know where that came from I think I just missed you and I want to talk to you. I'm not doing your tarot card reading, but we could do that too. All right, so this is where I'm at with this. This is what we need to let go of. You're not going to get rich quick this year. They do. This is a spiritual. This is talks of God, getting closer to God, though. We can talk about that. Um, and then, yeah, you need to be really, really careful with your funds this year. I want a clarification around the Ace of Pentacles. So it was a new beginning that you wanted. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Okay, let's talk about him. That fucking bastard. Let him go. I knew there was going to be love in here somewhere. This is about love, isn't it? Did he take money from you too? You know, I'm really, really angry at men right now. All right. He put you in a third-party situation, broke your heart, three of swords. And a lot of that had a ton of emotional abuse. Oh, were you in a polyamory thingy, thingy, thingy? Or was that somebody else? The devil, he could have been a Capricorn, but I really feel like a lot of light workers were sent really shitty people the last few months of 2018. By God, the devil's not so bad. It just talks of addictions and being bound unhealthily. It just talks of toxic relationships. It also talks about karmic relationships in the twin flame journey, something you might want to research as well, too.
you thought this man was out there working hard, growing this garden for you guys, when in all reality what he was doing was splitting his time between two women. Sorry about the light. I don't know why it's so bright and you can't see what the cards really look like because they're beautiful up close. And you honestly, like, because this, this one was in reverse, it's the five of uh, rods. You guys were fighting like crazy, working like, trying to work it out, I think, at one point, actually. And I think you got tired of it because that's why it's in reverse. You're like, fuck this. Or you need to get tired of it because God and spirit and everyone is saying, girl, let go of that situation. Get your money right and stop choosing people quickly who um, don't who don't provide you with everything that you need. All right, I'm going to put these back in and shuffle up and get you six things that we can invite in and we can pray and manifest every morning. I can um kind of our, uh, blah, 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 energetically already feel what they're going to say. So I'm excited. I'll tell you something queer, crazy too. Yep. Stop being the victim. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> okay. Stop playing the victim. You're no longer the victim. This year, because this is in reverse, right? This year, you're strong. You're a survivor. You've overcome the bullshit. Can't nothing stop you now. And again, you just need to bring in more of that kind of energy because this is like Sag, like this is fire ass energy. And I think I remember you telling me you're, you're Pisces. I should look that up for you before I, I should have looked that up on your Facebook before I did this. My bad babies. Um, but you, either way, there sure is some fire in your chart because I have seen you um, level 10, wasty paints, and we got, yes, I have, I seen the fire, so, um, find that girl, because that's who she is this year, she is a force to be reckoned with, because she's good, and she's not gonna put up with none of that negative, devilish bullshit in 2019, and if you do that, and you start bringing in You'll get your true love. This is a twin flame card. Like, you'll get your guy. They always send in a shady one first to make sure we're ready or not ready. They teach us the lesson. Again, sometimes in my case. I literally have learned the same lesson since I'm 18. Gonna try something new this year for me. Before she's 40, she will be in a healthy relationship. The love us. <laughs> Kiss it up, Vitus. You're going to fall in love in 2019 if you ask it to come. All right, so that's what you're going to do through this eclipse, right? Those are those things that we're going to talk about to bring in, to manifest under the moon. How do you manifest, right? Easy breezy Japanesey. Um, my favorite, again, I'm a smelly good human. I like things to smelly good. I actually bought a sun and a moon incense set, and I'm gonna burn um, in one one of the rooms a sun, and in another room the moon, and just kind of let the let the smokes um, join together, like the eclipse would be doing. Um, I think actually I think it's just the moon and the earth. This one it's a lunar eclipse, but still you get the idea. Um, then I will get some sage always. I've been having issues with things staying lit in my house. Uh, I'm gonna call it moisture in the air. Um, I also think it's just, uh, I, have a, I have a meddling, I have a meddling thing around right now. We're working on it, they're, they're almost gone. Um, but I also get sage salvia. Do I have any here? I don't know if I do. I don't know, but I also can, you can also go to any, like, um, I don't recommend a meta shop anymore. I love them. They're amazing. They just tend to be a little, a little more for the, uh, I don't know how to say this without offending anybody. 
um, they tend to be with more overpriced. And if I go to like a brujeria shop, they're better priced. And mostly that is because of cultural things. And that's fucked up. Anywho, um, so, but they also have some better things. Like, there's a lot of meta stores that don't want to carry pagan, Wiccan specific brujeria, santeria products. In my personal opinion, Without darkness, you cannot have the light. There are, we are all dark and light in one. I just practice in the light. And so no matter what is purchased at a, a shop, as long as it is made and used with good intention, still done with the light. So you can go ahead and purchase, like I have a jinx remover or a, it's a cleaning product or a, um, re, what is it? Remove everything. Like, I don't know. Someone had put a, I think we'll talk about that later. Let's talk about your reading. So yeah, go to a brujeria shop. I think you'll find that sage, um, salvia would be a fun thing for you to have too. I love you. I miss you. All right, let's get some more cards. Romance angels. I want to see, I want to hear about this motherfucker. I want to hear about this motherfucker. And then I want to ask, who you going to be manifesting in the future? Because I don't know. I didn't like the devil card. That energy is bad. I've experienced it myself. I know how mind fucky that is. Um, especially when you're like, bro, I was just over here minding my own business. Like, God, I'm so, t like, I, and I felt the victim too. I was like, I'm so tired of being a sitting duck. Every fucking person who's just wants to get a piece of my energy. They know how fucking fast I'm vibrating. They know what I'm all about. They, they just want to fucking get a piece of that shit. And then when they've had enough or when they recognize that they can't fucking play me for a fool because I'm too fucking smart, they just, they got to go because they're not ready to not be in that devilish energy. That could have been a message for you, but I'm mostly shuffling these cards right now. Okay. So let's talk about Val Pal, my Val Pal. Flirt. The flirt card. He was a flirt. This boy. He was extending his lighthearted energy to others. Well, a whole bunch of cards. A whole bunch. Let's just see. Did he have children? This is, the, this is your whole reading. Cards are like, girl, you're not going to be able to put all this up on a video and get it to her in time because it takes forever for it to do it. Your love life is being affected by children. In order for you to heal and maybe to help him heal too, because that is part of your journey, I believe, is, uh, you know, you're so kind and giving. You just want everyone to be happy. So, like, if it's going to make everybody sleep better at night, have the heart-to-heart -heart conversation with that guy. You can honestly discuss your feelings with each other. But, because um, it's in reverse. So, the true love in reverse came up. Actually, no, it didn't. That was straight up. Yeah. That, no, I take that back. That was straight up. Why does this feel like this is separate from this conversation? I'm going to give you the scenario two different ways. You interpret it whatever, whatever whichever way you know it to be in your soul. True love, upright. Forget about the upside down. With this pilot, we've already gotten a flirt, children, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Um, if this guy is your true love that happened that you need to release, you will know that because there will be forgiving and learning and growth from it. He will do the right thing. He will make you feel as you should. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. It is safe for you to love again. So if he does that, then you can open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. If he doesn't do that, these are my, re these are my reverse cards. If he doesn't do that and he doesn't, because it's getting to know each other in reverse, right? And he doesn't take the time to come back, have the heart to heart conversation, re get to know you and what your, what the new you 
is willing to accept or not accept because he is your true love. Now, the question is, is he your soulmate, which is a karmic to me, someone here to teach us a lesson, or your twin flame, someone who is your mirror, uh, who is literally forces you to see the good and the bad in yourself, the light and the dark. I feel like you've been probably going through the dark night of the soul. You should look into that too. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, the bond deepens. So if that doesn't happen, like that's, oh, I figured it out. Fuck the second way. <laughs> See, sometimes you just got to roll Val. That's what I'm saying. And then they talk and they'll, they clarify. And it comes in as your, your own voice. Like it's not like somebody else's voice. That's, that's psychiatric. Heart to heart conversations. If they don't spend the time to talk this through, without moving quickly and taking their time, going back to what you need to release, then there won't be that reconciliation and you won't be able to call in your soulmate. So don't rush through this part of the process. I guess it would be better um, for me it's like so hard. It's like, I hope that, I hope that resonates. I hope that's it. That's what we're saying. Okay. I'm going to ask your angels for just a couple of lovely messages and things you can pray to and love on. Um, oh, I love her. Merlina, my little angel of witchery. All my angels are females, which I think are, is empowering. You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. That could be you researching everything I just mentioned in this video before you make a decision around this guy. Cause I did drop some knowledge around um, a collective of humans. And I feel like I'm a part of it, the twin flame journey. Um, I feel like I was talking to you about that back when I lived in Atlanta. I was sick over Justin on it. I think we're still fucking doing it, him and I. So, and I'm just fucking in this karmic fucking, I was in this karmic cycle. And he's engaged, so. <laughs> Things are going great. Bethany. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, Sea salt bath or pedicure. I love this. This is actually what my day last night and today is for self-care. Friday night and Saturday. I went to a hot yoga class. I've been doing my readings so I don't have to worry about them. They're off my, my plate. I'm going to do a um, beautiful um, spiritual bath for myself. That's why I have that giant ass dub for. Um, and put in some like fresh rose petals and just really pamper the shit and love myself today. Um, because hell, if I don't show a man how to love me, cause I don't know how. It's probably what it is, I don't even know how. Oh, sorry. Hashtag Kundalini poses. Um, Archangel Uriel. Oh, this is my favorite. Your emotions are healing which enables you to open to, oh. I just got so emotional. It's cause he, he was, uh, he was the first angel that came to me. And I wanna share him with you. I call on him a lot. He's the angel of wisdom and strength. He's really strong. He's got beautiful gold beautiful gold light um yeah man archangel uriel that's the dude and she can also be a she i love this character so much that in my musical i named one of the characters um uriel um your emotions are healing which enables you to open to greater love it will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind yeah, girl, let's get spiritual, spiritual. I'm gonna ask my pendulum a question 
and it's just a silly one, and then we're done because we're like super long, and I'm crying. Let me uncross my legs. Rule number one. Okay, I don't know if you can see what's going on here. Well, I see Valerie in 2019. Well, I get to 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 see Valerie in 2019. That is a traditional yes, by the way, um, but I'm training this pendulum. I have another one we can go to. But I figured I would use the one I was training because I'm trying to drain it. He's all like, no, I need you to do the whole thing. Dolly, will I get to see? Will I get to see Valerie in 2019? Will I get to see Valerie in 2019? Will I get to see Valerie in I guess we not know when. I love you. I hope I do. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm actually trying to move in. Actually, I'm going to keep my damn mouth shut because I got a lot of people hating. So they see me rolling. They hating. Trolling. They're trying to get me riding dirty. All right. I really love you. Bye.